Please be seated. President, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to our postgraduate graduation ceremony 2017. Imperial College London's graduation ceremonies commemorate the visit in 1945 of His Majesty, the late King George VI, and Her Majesty, the late Queen Elizabeth, to the college, where they honoured with their presence our celebration of the 100th anniversary of the foundation of the Royal College of Chemistry, a forerunner of the Imperial College. The governors of the college resolved that this event should be commemorated each year by an assembly of the governors, the president, the provost, the professors, the readers, the lecturers, and those in statute pupillari as an act of homage to our visitor, the reigning sovereign. This would serve as a mark of gratitude for all those who have helped the college and as a sign of personal rededication to the pursuit of knowledge in science, engineering, and medicine, and their application for the well-being of mankind. We meet here today to recognize the outstanding achievements of postgraduate students of the college in all our endeavors. In sporting triumphs, artistic and musical excellence, diversity in both culture and ideas, volunteering, and not least in academia. Yet in doing so, may today's graduates also acknowledge that you not only have enormous potential to contribute towards the advancement of mankind, but that you also shoulder the burden of expectation created by the achievements of those who came before you. Our time as students in the Faculty of Natural Sciences and the Faculty of Medicine never was solely for academia or achievement, but also to immerse ourselves in university life, developing as a field capable individuals forging friendships that will last a lifetime, and tackling higher concepts of ethics, philosophy, and society. In doing so, we have made a unique contribution to the history of the faculties, institutions which started with the Royal College of Chemistry and Charing Cross Hospital Medical School, and now includes the graduates we award here today. In future years, yours will be the shoulders that subsequent graduates stand upon. In the words of King George on the college's first commemoration day, regard your knowledge and your skill as skill always in the light of a trust for the benefit of humanity, and thereby ensure, so far as in you lies, that science may never be put to uses which offend the higher conscience of mankind. So, Queen. Members of court and council, colleagues, graduates, distinguished honorees, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor as the president of Imperial College London to welcome you to the 2017 postgraduate graduation. We are here to honor the graduates and awardees and to celebrate their accomplishments. A special welcome to the family and friends uh, here today Earning a graduate degree at Imperial involves many hours of hard work. Your encouragement and support was essential to their success. Enjoy the celebration and share in their achievements. And a warm tribute to my colleagues seating be seated behind me. Your guidance was vital to these students' success. We salute you as researchers, teachers, mentors, and academic leaders. You make the world a better place. Graduates, congratulations. I hope that you enjoy this day and that you and your family and friends will remember it fondly for years to come. Today, as you leave this great university, you are eager to take the next step in your career. You are excited by the challenges that await you. Your future holds great promise. You are rightly impatient. But today, I want you to think about the importance of patience. We live in an age of impatience. Information is at our fingertips, news is instant, and communication is rapid. 
We are conditioned to think and act quickly. The past year of unexpected political events and the instability created by uncertainty makes us all impatient. How will we navigate what is ahead? What will the UK be like after Brexit? What will the world be like? Impatience permeates society. It affects the cultures of our public and private institutions. We feel it in our personal and professional lives. Yet we know the value of patience. As scholars, we are accustomed to the long, deliberative process of research. We know that taking time to be certain of our findings is essential. We know that meaningful, important work cannot be rushed. We also know that collaboration is essential to advancing knowledge. Collaboration takes time. It requires patience. Perhaps you have been following the grand finale of the NASA and European Space Agency's Cassini mission. Over the next four months, as the spacecraft runs out of fuel, it will be driven into the atmosphere of Saturn after 12 years producing wonderful science orbiting Saturn. Some of that great science comes from the Imperial College Cassini magnetometer, developed and run by a team led by our professor, Michel Doherty. Their magnetometer discovered the existence of an atmosphere on Saturn's moon, Enceladus. In these last months of its journey, Cassini is dry diving between Saturn and its rings 22 times. It made its second such dive yesterday, and the images from Saturn are stunning. You definitely need patience for international space science. Cassini was conceived in 1982 launched in 1997 and arrived at Saturn in 2004, having explored Venus and Jupiter en route. The Cassini team have spent hours throughout these 20 years patiently waiting for data to arrive from the spacecraft. Graduates, you made the decision to further your education. Postgraduate study requires patience. Dr. Sir Michael Jacobs, an imperial alumnus and doctor, recently knighted for his services treating Ebola and other infectious disease cases, said, until I started my PhD at Imperial, as a doctor, I'd been used to my decisions being instantly rewarded. A PhD, though, is an extremely long-term project with slow rewards. It's the opposite of clinical medicine, and it taught me patience, diligence, and resilience. Quick thinking and the ability to make rapid decisions are essential in today's competitive world, but they alone are not enough to achieve success and fulfillment. Complex issues in a complex and complicated world deserve deliberate thought and perseverance. There is no one way to practice patience but I want to share a few ideas that I have found helpful. First, take time to be observant. Watch other people and learn from what you see and hear. Some will be role models. Others will show you what you don't want to do. Learn from both. Two, write down your thoughts and ideas. Keep a journal or a diary. There will be half-formed thoughts or an idea that is ahead of its time. Write it down. Don't let it disappear. Its time will come. And three, remember that nothing you learn is ever wasted. Learn from your failures, not just your successes. You will face dead ends. You will experience setbacks. These can provide the most beneficial lessons. You have the potential to accomplish great things. I hope that you will use your intelligence and education to solve the problems of today and the problems that will arise in the future. Never lose your enthusiasm for contributing to society. And always remember that patience is an ally, not an enemy of enthusiasm. 
You are part of the great and wonderful community that is Imperial College. In the days and years to come, I hope that you will reflect on how you grew as a scholar and individual during your time here. Maintain your connection to Imperial. Stay in touch with your classmates and professors and share your experiences with us all. Please come back as alumni to inspire the next generation of students with your successes. All of us are very proud of you. Congratulations. President, I beg leave to present those who have received awards within the Faculty of Natural Sciences. The names will be announced by Professor Mark Bergman, Director for the Centre of Environmental Policy, Professor Alan Armstrong, Head of the Department of Chemistry, Professor Anne Dell, Head of the Department of Life Sciences, Professor Henrik Jensen, Professor of Mathematical Physics, and by Professor Jordan Nash, Head of the Department of Physics. Due to the large number of graduates being presented this afternoon, may I ask the audience to reserve applause to prize winners and until the end of each department. Thank you. Faculty of Natural Sciences, Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Master of Research, Centre for Environmental Policy, Moaz Adnan. Diego Anton Crociano. Charles Palmi Axelson. Lily Vanny Hashemian, winner of the Veolia Environmental Science Prize, Tara Barrett. <laughs> Marine Michelle Berkmans, Eletra Bianchi Dinalin, <laughs> Carlos Banora. Maria Angeliki Bufunu. Katarina Brandmeyer. Cameron Victor John Brown. Sam Royston Burford. Daniel Robert Joseph Burke. Patrapa Chaikitslip. Dimitrios Peretis, Quentin Chanjat, Kelly Cheng, Anastasia Krasafi, Lucy Clark, Henry Clifford, Ag Agatha Corvarie. Arthur Crochet. No, I'm sorry. I, I can't read the writing. <laughs> yes, yes. Sorry. <laughs> I should have looked up. Erica Michelle de Souza. Ola Delagi. Marine de la Sayette. Gautier Desney. Yi Ding. Eile Duncan, Elisa Hortens Elhaj, winner of the ACOM Prize, Thomas James Evans. Also winner of the ACOM Prize, Ross Robert Fairgrave. 
Mattel, Jacques, Henri, Ferranier. Rita Fieo de Mateos Sampeño. Searcher Flood. Tazilio Franz Maria von Hirsch. Dylan Daniel Fursifer. <laughs> Augustine Pierre Marie Gallot Lavalle. Delarim Gashimi, Mariana Violetta Gosch, Filippo Grassi, Ferdinand Havel, William Hamshaw Thomas, Ben Hart. Jay Hay, Timothy Rhys Hedgeland, the winner of the Bell Prize. <laughs> Bailey Hempel, Aurelia Hillary, Yadik Hogel. Alexandra Yana Imrazadis. Winner of the ACOM Prize and the Ross McCooch Memorial Law Prize, Albina Ivanova. <laughs> Winner of the Environmental Resources Management Prize, Sergi George Yuduk. Hemineth Whistler. Michael Yus. <laughs> Livia Kalasaka. Evangelos Karagianis. Yasir Khan. Nicholas Kraus. Winner of the Arcadis Water Management Prize, Ariane Elsa Laporte Biscuit. <laughs> Alexander Lautner. Sophie Lawrence. Eleanor Lazat. <laughs> Lana Lee. Indra Levita. Chen Chen Yu, Sebastian Karl Otto Jungwald, <laughs> Jan Martin, Jian Gui Meng, Alison Mitchley, <laughs> Madeleine Flamine Claire Morley. Alexander Maitenka. <laughs> Nashima Naeem Raja. Rory O'Donoghue. Habad Olad. <laughs> Sayed Bakar Ori. Willem Obienda. Winner of the Adnams Prize, Francis Gillian Claire Owen. <laughs> Theodora Panayides. Nicole Pandya. Pandya. Winner of the Charlotte Rich Memorial Prize for Water and Waste Management, Alexios Papadopoulos. <laughs> Subin Park. Malika Pava, Nicolaus Pavelis, Eleanor Rachel Penny, Leandro Pereiro, winner of the Charlotte Rich Memorial Prize for Water Waste Management, Timothy Poole.
Astrid Wondari Rahayo. Winner of the Colt Foundation Prize, Marco Ristick Smith. Dante Guillermo Ruiz Martinez. Nazreen Sayed. Jin Li Xiao. James Stevenson. James Sykes. Asta Tang. Jay Lee Tao. <laughs> that one? Yeah. Which one have we got? Oh. Pinachi Ten Parat. Sorry, I beg your pardon. So this person's not here. Chow Wang. Paola Tieleres. Uta Barbara Thurman. Sam Thompson. Vieira Ukupsova. Rachel Umana. Najmul Fajri Usman. Cecilia Anna Valeri Irabaran. Esme Erika Van Veen. Anna Isabella Adriano Wena. Samantha Walters. Chow Wang. Oh, beg your pardon. No, no, I've got to miss. I'm sorry, it's not here. <laughs> Well done anyway. Um, <laughs> Yining Wang. Ben Pavika Wang Vita Ayakan. Christoph Vegel. Mina Vedel. Daya Roro Esti Wija Putri. Max Winpenny. Zhang Jingzu. Ravi Shah. Jiali Tao. Ravi Shah. Oh, that can't be right. <laughs> I'll press on. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Philosophy, Doctor of Philosophy, Center for, Imperial, for, for Environmental Policy, Geraldine Brennan. <laughs> Winner of the Arcadis Water Management Prize, Aisha Gallaudin. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> it's not you? There he is. Anthony Lavers. Young Suk Lee. Noor Shafina Mohammed Sharif. Babak Tarion Tamashebi. John David Waterson. That now concludes the graduates from the Centre for Environmental Policy. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduating class. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Master of Research, Department of Chemistry. Faris Abu Al Naja. Shinya Bai. Huda Baldo. 
Nicholas George Baldwin, winner of the Mark Seller Certificate for Excellence, Jasmine Bickell. Anil Sadat Bijoy. Nuhiyati Binti Jasmine. Manan Jean Claire Boul. Yuting Kai. Leila Alicia Karia Sippi. Ten Yi Chen. Wing Yi Chu. Jonathan Coburn, Anna Duran Corbera, Abis Gargiri, winner of the Emres Green Chemistry Dissertation Prize, Louis Hennekin. Julian Alexander Jones. Vivia Constantinou. Kevin Robin Legrand. Chan Lun Lang. Chan Shan Lin. Miriam Kate Lyons. Christy Maxudian. Sophie Mason, winner of the Perkin Prize for Drug Discovery Research, Nal McLaughlin. <laughs> Oliver Neal, Kai Ling Ng, Oya Roque Oya Diran, Cleopas Pelati. Michael Potter, winner of the Sir Alan First Prize, Philip Jurevich Ryan. <laughs> Alba Sant Marti Sands, Rita Shahi, Kanu Tangsa Nagar Saksri. Chinmay Kamal Thacker, Richard John Thistlethwaite, winner of the Lord Porter Prize, Francesco Vianello, <laughs> Bo On Yu, Yu Tong Zhang, Li Ying Zhang. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Philosophy, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Chemistry. Dominic Afron. Sarah Fahad al -Sobay. David Anders. Natalie Andrews. Pietro Aronica. Michael Thomas Barclay. Benedict Barron. Daniel Beetrup. James Clark. Juliet Collins. Owen Davis. Marina Fedorova. Gilbert de Gregorio. Angela de Mazzana Squino. Martina de Marco. Michael Dent. Raquel Lena Fracari. Irene Iriata Carretero. Kitachan Kanok Fan Tarankul. 
Here's a Karam Dad. Siak Ji Lim. Yimeng Ma. Winner of the Outstanding PhD in Chemistry Award, Daniel Malko. <laughs> Nicola McCarthy. Catherine Montgomery. James Murray. Ling Fu Nye. Edward Parsons. Shani Paul. Stephanie Reed. Daniel John Scott. Sikmud Sharul Nizan Sheikh Zahari. Ernest Cheng So. Elizabeth Stork Saha. Peter Thompson. Anita Toscani. Nicole Trainer. Winner of the Outstanding PhD in Chemistry Award, Morgan Vasher. William Vigor, Oramas Wisniauskas, Jennifer Ward, Claire Elizabeth Weston, Daniel Wilkinson, Yang Ching Chu. That now concludes the graduates for the Department of Chemistry. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduating class. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Department of Life Sciences. Winner of the Innovation Award for the MSc in Applied Biosciences and Biotechnology, Padmaxi Agarwal. <laughs> George Avram. Gal Barrow. Robert Simon Andrew Barker. Lily Barry. David Barrington Marquis. Winner of the Southwood Prize. Laura Frances Bentley. <laughs> Winner of the Graham Matthews Prize, Claire Theresa Boothby. <laughs> Anna Melissa Boffa. Ellen Bowler. Susan Byrne. Lorenzo Calis, Luis Fernando Camarillo Guerrero, Yik Man Chan, Thamula Charalampus, winner of the MSc Taxonomy and Biodiversity Prize, Roseanne Chenery. Jennifer Francis Cristolo, Christopher Thomas Clarkson, Roberto Johannes Correa, Joseph Gregory Leon Council, winner of the MSc Taxonomy and Biodiversity Prize, Ana Luisa de Almeida Serra Jorge da Silva. Eve, Eve Elizabeth Damaris Friedman. Laura de Arroyo Garcia. James Downey. Munan Du. Mariam El Gabri. Eve. 
Eve Grace Englefield. Edward Evans. Charlotte Fenner. James Foley. Emma Gale. Liam Gascoigne Curran. Gabriel Michael Jamiti. Cleo Hall. Jake Hobby Royal. Annick Hoffman. Gal Horish. Thomas Howes. Amy Jackson. Michael Jardin. Moodith J. Wardener. Ying Ji Ji. Emma Venetia Watkins Knowles. T. Cum Quok. Marion Laguette. Harriet Camille Sophia Lambert. Bethan Lang. Kit Wa Kit Lee. Winner of the Julian Huxley Prize, Joss Patrick Lyons White. Xiang Lee. Anna McPhee. Federica Maggiarelli. Henry Marshall. Dominic Martin. Leanne Massey. Juliana Paola Mastro Pietro Garcia. Oscar McGinty. Oliver John Mendes. Elisabetta Michelon. Irene Mellon. Naka Concilia Nadi. Winner of the Centenary Prize for the MSc in Applied Biosciences and Biotechnology, Indigo Pratt Kelly. <laughs> Ching Chen Diao. Sophie Astrid Quignard. Hannah Richardson. Josh Adam Drummond Robertson. Irene Robles Roboyo. Irene Rusunalu. Michael Schmutzer. Michael Philip Schneider. Lisa Maria Schneider. Harold Scholes. Anne Elizabeth Shelley. Richard James Shepherd. Nicholas Edward Snee. Molly Stedman. Elizabeth Stormfield. Sasha Euro Meterum. Suro Matarum. Winner of the MSc Bioinformatics and Theoretical Systems Biology Prize, Anna Isabella Tanase. <laughs> and Andrew Townsend. Shun Hei So. Winner of the Attenborough Prize and the Gerald Durrell Prize, Anne's for Cameron. Catherine Elizabeth Walker, 
Shi Ning Wang. Winner of the Graham Matthews Prize, James Warren. <laughs> Alexandra Welford. Jessica Jacqueline Williams. Joanna Zigrino. Nuru Siuhada Zuhaimi. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Research, Department of Life Sciences, Richard Ame. <laughs> Ahmad Masood Aziz. Robert Birchtold. Thomas Blake. Arani Candon. Emma Caton. Xiaoyu Chun, Rue Chun, Sat Shodha, winner of the MRES Biosystematics Prize, Le Chin Chu. Winner of the Centenary Prize for the MRES in Systems and Synthetic Biology, Michael Crone. <laughs> Karis Davies. Emile Delange. Rishi Decane. Sharuna Streisus. Catherine Ducker. Abisola Fafolu, Helen Victoria Ford, Sean Francis, Roxanne Gardiner, Scott David Gardiner, Peter Gleason, Winner of the Southwood Prize, Timothy Gordon. <laughs> Winner of the Centenary Prize for the MRES in Tropical Forest Ecology, Ross Edward James Gray. <laughs> William Patrick Green Coogan. Salini Yasmin Guterres Alcudere. Orestes Uxio Guterres Algudari. Lorna Harvey. Alice Elizabeth Horn. Louis Henderson. Chuhei Jack Ho. Hannah Jago. Dong Hui Kim. Nahide Koksal, Anita Marianne Christiansen, Rachel Isolde Lane Shaw, Alexander Leary, Mengxiao Li, Winner of the GCE Prize for the best overall, overall performance on the MRES in Ecosystems and Environmental Change, Sarah Mayer. <laughs> Padma Gayathri Naina. Alexander Nash. Joanna, Joanna Nato Serijira. Jane O'Doy. Andre Paolo Pereira de Oliveira Frade. Samuel Paunol. Yi Chen Chu. Jose Ramanada Masagwe. Maximus Rex. 
Stefan Rowe, Eric Rutten, winner of the Centenary Prize for the MRES in Systems and Synthetic Biology, Paul Rutten. Winner of, the, winner of the Centenary Prize for the MRES in Molecular and Cellular Biosciences, Natapon Sanguan Kiet Tichai. Ka Wai Se. Alexandra Sequera Raposo. Georgios Shiotis. Sorry. <laughs> Winner of the Centenary Prize for the MRES in Structural Molecular Biology, Sabrina Slater. <laughs> Ji Song. Sandra Sullivan. Olivia Swan. Jennifer Wells. Emily Margaret Wetlock. Yi Yu Xiang, Gun Xiao, Rue Feng Zhang, Yan Lai Zhu, Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Philosophy, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Life Sciences, Georgina Adams. David Ainsworth, Claire Bankia, Charlotte Barthen, Steffi Benjamin, Alexander Cornish, Charles Anthony Rowland Cotton, Edward Couchman, Christopher Colbert, Adriana Fiorita de Palma, Emma De Fries, Isabel Fenton, Tian Gong, Edward Harding, Mohammed Nakiyudin bin Husri. Robert Johnson, Catherine Luckett, Corinna Mateus, Bevan McGeever, Yiran Mong, Gabrielle McKaylee. Kirsten Miller, Janiel Rajesh Patel, Sarah Pierce, Luke Brian Roberts, Faye Rogers, Rue Rodriguez. Delphine Rolando, Gregory Shutoff, Rachel Vaux, Christopher Waite. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Life Sciences. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduating class. Diploma of Imperial College, Master of Science, Department of Mathematics. Lian Bai. You are not Jian Lian Bai. Yeah, good. Winner of the Royal Statistical Society Prize, Paraskivi Bakitshi.
Andreas Bock, Joseph Breuer Wild, Jae Young Wang, Hu Ying Chu, Imon, Eleanor Maria Dill, Joshua Ding, Patrick Dohan, Jianying Duan, Vladimir Eremichu, Wai Wai Gu, Yuang Gu, Stephanie Gilmer Gomes, Yidan He, Thomas Patrick John Hogan, Yuming Hong, Greg Hutchins, Xuju Ji Yang, Eugene Yang, Lauren Kanapka, Sharif Mohammed Sharif Khalifa, Tilkiskat, Lam Chung Hang Henry, Pak Yung Lao, Jiaiqi Yang, Chang Liu, Binbin Liu, Evan Huang Liu, Chiu Ching Liu, Ching Lao, Jun Mao, Pietro Machesi, Kilian Gijum, Paul Martin Hogasan, Alistair Williams, Kuran Mi, Eita Mugurasa Gonzalez, Patricia Nadia, winner of the Winton Capital Prize for the best MSc statistics students, Kian Nyak. <laughs> Kiriakos Yokios, Shak Netza, Yoko Tatu, Shak Peron, Clement Pierre, Robert Pullman, Alexandra Anna Ratziwil, Hugo Rakotari Manga, Andre and Jack. Winner of the Winton Capital Prize for the best MSc statistics project, Espen Anderson Rausbeck. Pierre Chaktu Sakutu. Winner of the Warren Prize, James Alexander Scott. Alexander Michael Friedrich Sitt. Leonidas Chiliotis. Simon String. So Takora. Yuki Takaya. Wen Hao Tang. Charles Emil Andrea Tardif. Tiki Tiko Tax. Michael Vijapura. Eva Bitkova. Ki Wang. Rebecca Wilkes. Marcus Wood. Hugh Wood. Lifan Shuja. Jin Jan. Chen Hao Jian, Laurel Chong Yang, Yamin Zhuang, Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Research, Department of Mathematics, Su Gosh, Juana Andrea Lang, Douglas Machado Viena, Polina Rowinska. Sasmin Shingmons, Jinima Maipel Terats, Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Philosophy, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Mathematics, Maha Bakopen, Pierre Blake Florentin, Gialdin Bouvet, Liam Dempsey, Elisabetta Dubrovina, 
Andrea Granelli, George Han, Jonathan Hill, Corona Don Jane, Jonathan Alexander Kielman, Spiridon Kulyapatsis, Sahan Kuchinat, Song Liu, Elena Lukua, Benjamin John Malin, Diletta Martinelli, Julian Newman, Bin Koi Huen, winner of the Yale Dame Dauka Centenary Prize in Mathematics, Susanna Nomora Mariara Artunas Gomez, Ranil Noven, Charles Nurse, Marcel Bogdan Okronik, Matthias Pirats, Giacomo Piazzotta, winner of the Yale Name Dauka Centenary Prize in Mathematics, Thomas Prince. <laughs> Alexander Rush. Eric Sconi, Deborah Schneider Luftmann, Alvis Hong Ting Tang, Eduardo Marcelo Viges, Kwok Wong, Xiu Jiao, Fantisek Zak. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Mathematics. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduating class. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Department of Physics, Luigi Alfonsi. Amna Al-Kabandi. Winner of the Blackett Laboratory MSc Physics Prize, Brandon Anesi. Pier Francesco Bosco. Costanza Isabella Maria Carismo. Alessandra Marie Carmichael Martins. Krai Chimsawat. Alessio David. Rick Peter De Ruyter. Winner of the Blackett Laboratory MSc Physics Prize, Paul Maria Dichtel. <laughs> David Drahi. Winner of the Gladys Locke Prize in Applied Optics, Adria Escobet Montalban. <laughs> Christopher Gallagher. Ross Grassi, Kainan Gu, Fang Yuang Gu, Fai He, Muhammad Guais Iqbal, winner of the Adrian Sutton Prize, Mace Yarotsky. <laughs> Jiang Ki Jiang. John Johnson, winner of the Abdus Salam Postgraduate Prize, Jonathan Enze Lee. <laughs> Kaiyuan Lee, Christian Lindekers, Wei Liu, Yasmin Malik. Nelly Marangu, Elizabeth Martin, Nicoletta Prastiti, Ben Poulin, George James Rodriguez, Manya Sani, Nurdele Sarkitbayev. 
Vincent Alain Pierre Sabat. Rajkiran Shemar. Navjit Singh. Silard Sirke. Scott Vasquez. Caroline Florence Paul Venet. Merika Wanakornkul. Laszlo Tibor Zalavari. Ming Yang Zhang. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Research, Department of Physics. Alexander Kony. Thomas Hebditch. Winner of the Director's Prize, Thomas Hodson. <laughs> Saurav Limbu. Juliana Panidi. Alice Smith. Winner of the Research Prize for Best MRES Project in PECDT, Andrea Otilia Suyu. <laughs> Michael Trigatsis. Tianran Jin. Diploma of Imperial College, Master of Philosophy, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Physics. Saleh Alatabi. Matthew Allenson. Alexandros Anastasiu. Jao Arnold Pella. Anthony Ashmore. Mark Baber. Jasvir Kaur Bamra Harley. Francesca Botaki. Winner of the Director's Prize, Abby Casey. Nathan Alex Chander. Winner of the TSM CDT Prize, Vincent Chen. Laura Chen. Jason Cole. Noemi Correa Poblete. Winner of the Director's Prize, George Costa Dantas Faria. Jack Cutler. Tanapat Disuan. Patrick Dunn. Winner of the TSM CDT Prize, Thomas Edwards. Ruth Skeen. Sylvain Damien Gennaro. Simon Good. Joshua Paul Green. Christopher Govan. Winner of the TSM CDT Prize, Ali Hamad. Peter Hawkins. George Hicks. Charlotte Holmes. Mia Hughes, Christopher Hunt, Matthew Kassor, Alexander Kanin, winner of the TSM CDT Prize, Mohammed Musab Kawaja, <laughs> Matthias Kraft, Benjamin Crickler, Winner of the TSM CDT Prize, Gabriel Vittorio Lau. Winner of the Solid State Physics Prize, Aurelian Legay. Matteo Lostalio. Edmund Lovell. Winner of the Anne Thorne Thesis Prize, David Mack. Vincent Maoli, Kyle Major, Kishan Manani, Stephen McNamara, 
Rishi Mistri, Mark Thomas Mitchison, Tui Tian Nguyen, Alan Perkins, Samuel Phibbs, Thomas Phillips, winner of the AWE Prize for Excellence, Kristen Hoder. Winner of the Anne Thorne Thesis Prize, Isabel Raby. <laughs> Daniel Rathbone. Joseph Jonathan Razel Hollis. Martin Reed. Kirsty Roy. Timothy Runcorn. James Semple. Emma Simpson. Elenid Ann Smith, Samuel John Piney Stafford, Christos Stavru, Andrew Strong, Gareth Tier, Manhon Sang, Jose Videra, Mikhail Dorian Vidrian. Jessica Wade, Shui Wang, Jonathan Wood, winner of the Blackett Laboratory Industry Club Thesis Prize, Chi Shong Yao, <laughs> Nikki Zaccario. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Physics and the Faculty of Natural Sciences. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduating class.
President, I beg leave to present those who have received awards within the Faculty of Medicine. The names will be announced by Professor Terry Tetley, College Consul Non-Clinical for the Faculty of Medicine, Professor Mara McClure, Senior Consul, and by Professor Desmond Johnson, Vice Dean for Education in the Faculty of Medicine. And again, may I ask the audience to reserve applause to prize winners and until encouraged to by the reader. Faculty of Medicine, Master of Philosophy, Institute of Clinical Sciences, Elizabeth Byrne. Faculty of Medicine, Master of Science, National Heart and Lung Institute, Zamrida Adila Fatma. Adam Javier Ahmed. Ujomoti Ibadanaja J. Akintunda. Winner of the Dean's Prize for Medical Ultrasound, Awa Al Ghadi. <clears throat> Hemza Ali Hussein. Reem Al Shirari. Aisha Al Thanayan. Joseph Kwaku Apia. Demetrius Asprey, if Iphigenia Bardi, Shatra Binti Muhammad Yusuf, Rebecca Callingham, Max Cheng, Alua Funshaw, Father Hunsi. Samantha Joan Gurdy, Rebecca Graham, Michael David Gregson, Adam Hafez Kamar, Moshgon Jedi, Uzma Campbell Khan, Barbara Copson, Lev Libegod, Ramatulai Mane, winner of the Dean's Prize for Genes, Drugs and Stem Cells, Novel Therapies, Kazim Arjum Majid. Naila Manan, Michael Norman, Michael Toba Obafemi, Lara O'Donnell, Gaffa Omer, Wathna Palamandra Diga, Ashish Patel, Thomas Richards. Udicha Sharaniya. Winner of the Dean's Prize for Medical Ultrasound Echocardiography, Zara Sheikh. Xian Shen. John Shepherd, Daniel Thomas, Eloise Rosemarine Van Voren, Claudia Viscovich. That concludes the Masters of Science graduates from the National Heart and Lung Institute. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates.
Faculty of Medicine, Master of Science, Department of Medicine. Iman Ashkar. Ahmed Ahmed. Ada Al Ali. Winner of the Dean's Prize for Pediatrics and Child Health, Patrick Corrett. Camilla Angelico Suarez Cabral. Kemi Awanea. Hey Sue Bay. Hey Sue Bay. Araya Bagat. Arthur Bagat. Nurul Amira Seyazana Binti Mod Amir. William Martin Broughton. Nuo Unchan. Nicholas Chu. Nicholas Constantino. Louis Antonio Costa Ortega. Leonard de Boer. Winner of the Dean's Prize for Molecular Biology and Pathology of Viruses, Michael Daringer. <laughs> Daniel Egbasse. Joshua Mark David Evans. Armosh Fries Van Dyke. Denise Paula Garcia Daza. Henry Gerds. Shahi Abdul Ghani. Pauline Carlotta Gerla. Louis Edgardo Gonzalez Huerta. Louisa Green. Chenki Gao. Stephen Jonas Holtkamp. Alexander Huftman. Nabiha Hussein. Stephanie Jaquel Barron. <laughs> Keithana Jakarthi Zan. Clarice Gillan. Sarah Khalid. Zing Yung Leong. Aldara Martin Alonso. Anne Marie McGinley. Amobilaji Avisola Okania. Tu C. Patel. Alid Phillips. Paul Podevigne Dorance. Rahama Saleh. Yuhani Samarakan. Darmini Sunt. Poonam Shah. Anissa Tahir Sheikh. Winner of the Dean's Prize for Immunology, Rohit Siroya. <laughs> Emmanuel Georgios Solomonidis. Balishnavi Sundarasan. Supreet Kaur Sunna. Cornelia Sorvez Dita. Momal Tamor. Joy Yuan Tan. Olga Tatarinova. 
Justina Ten. Kunyun Tan. Seng Kwong Ung. Anna Vatsilia. Meng Wong. Yungfei Wang. Zilin Wang. Winner of the Dean's Prize for Molecular Medicine, Shelley Jane Wo Chim. Ralph, uh, winner of the Richard Bachelor Prize for Immunology, Ralph Wenz. Samuel Windross. That concludes the Masters of Science graduates from the Department of Medicine. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates. <laughs> Faculty of Medicine, Master of Research, Department of Medicine, Joy Arthur. Emily Ashworth, Stefan Beckford, Verena Laura Alina Brosh, Andrea Carame, Si Wing Chow, Chuji Chen, Nicola Davis, Xing Zhu Fei. And Sophie Fleury, winner of the Dean's Prize for Translational Medicine, Emily Frost. <laughs> Laura Fuentes Font, Devere George, winner of the Dean's Prize for Human Nutrition, Hajir Ibrahim. Xiaoman Li, Fang Yi Li, Heidi Christine Lightfoot, Severin Limal, Abdul Sata Faki Muhammad, Anna Katharina Malak, Nawapan Machanan. Mariam Mukbel, George Nezra, Xu Ning, Pablo Oriel Valls, Wishwanath Ragwadi Patki, Jessica Preston. Nicola Jane Rogers. Winner of the Dean's Prize for Experimental Neuroscience, Angelique Sadlon. <laughs> Laura Simmons. Syrian Suchovanich. Sitravanich, Orain Tsang, Jacqueline Tung, Yogita Variva, Wei Meng Wang, Beanish Zaki, Silvana Zamit. Sarah Glynn. That concludes the Masters of Research graduates from the Department of Medicine. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates.
Faculty of Medicine, Master of Science, School of Public Health. Maria Mahmoud Sahir Alhinai. Lara Al Zuabi. Laura Jean Bruce. Lena Zai. Ile Campbell. Rachel Cassidy. Flavian Kukan. Bimandra Adiputra Ja Afara. Faye Yor Fadero. Faye Yor Fadero. Jasmine Ibrahimi. Fayeshayor Fadero. Right. Lance Hench. Faith Ho. Arti Paresh Kara. Catherine Kentistu. Meredith Martin. Winner of the Dean's Prize for Human Molecular Genetics, Hannah Maud. <laughs> Rosanna Luisa Mundo. Nisha Nanu. Maria Rosa Nicolopoulou. Aluwa Damilola Rika Orade. Winner of the MSc Epidemiology Prize dissertation, Jonathan Pearson Stottard. <laughs> Natasha Bernadette Pinto. Ria Ratna. Rulian Shi. Alexandros Chobani Thesis. Tomalika Ramat Ulla. That concludes the Masters of Science graduates from the School of Public Health. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Faculty of Medicine, Master of Public Health, School of Public Health. Noor Al Abdul Baki, Reem Al Brahim, winner of the Master of Public Health Prize dissertation, El Jahara Al Saud, <laughs> Kiamaka Esther Alma Efula, Ibtahal Atta El Manan. Margarita Carrialu, Melinda Chow, Sarah Chin, Lim Fang Min, and Manuela Peace Icom, Tracy Kanyeba Ilunga, Imam Avsal, Rosemary Jenkins. Carmen Michelle Lowe, Tim McMackin, Katrina McClarkey, Feng Miao. Winner of the Dean's Prize for Master of Public Health Global Stream and the winner of the Master of Public Health Prize dissertation, Jessica Morris. Tasneem Osama, Chloe Payne, Zubair Polpolzai, Agbarimi Rakibat, Emma Scholte, Yuan Rishi, Neil Stillman, Zane Khaled Orni Tukan. Adelina Kasuma 
Wodani, Rachel Williams, Thomas Samuel Wincott, Kianwi Zhu, Wanling Zhu. That concludes the Masters of Public Health graduates from the School of Public Health. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Faculty of Medicine, Master of Science, Department of Surgery and Cancer, Hawa Yusuf Ahmed. Rosanna Gilda Aiello. Ben Amis. Maria Arianoglu. Tutuola Tiwalola Atalabi. Anthony Atwood Blaze. Adrian Stewart Bartlett. Shruti Bellavadi. Otilia Berez. Winner of the Dean's Prize for Reproductive and Developmental Biology, Luisa Borges Mana. <laughs> Stephanie Chambers. Winner of the Dean's Prize for Quality and Safety in Healthcare, James Clark. Emily Charlotte Coley. Catherine Davis. Keziah Joe Deeks. Judith DiMello. Winner of the Dean's Prize for Health Policy, Sam Haskell. Winner of the MSc Reproductive and Developmental Biology Course Prize, Thomas Ian Robert Hopkins. <laughs> Arjuna Imbul Danaya. Sarah Jessica Jagasodhi. Sital Jita. Chong Wen Kang. Viral Rajan Kantaria. Mark Richard Kilty. Vishaka Manahan. Malak Mahalaki. Andrea Marcou. King Hang Mao. Aaron Mills. Rampa Victor Mosweyu. Grace Murray. Johan Eusted. Holly Alexandra Norman. Oluwashi Milore Abigail Oikunli. Hannah Patel. Elena Psara. Justin Reardon Jones. Amini Gazal Sachi. Winner of the Gavron Prize, Sarah Seaholm. <laughs> Terence Simmons. <laughs> Carla Texera Beltreo. Karen Ann Todd. Laurent Viac. Winner of the MSc Reproductive and Developmental Biology Course Prize, Abigail Walker. 
Zun Wang. Mark Wilson. Hasina Abdul. Winner of the Dean's Prize for Molecular Basis of Human Disease Research, Christopher Adams. Katie Anders. Mavish Arshad. Victoria Oyu. Winner of the Dean's Prize for Biomedical Research, RCVS, Carlo Biffi. Robert Bloxham. Matthew William Brown. Winner of the Gallon Prize for Biomedical Research, Adria Canala Socias. <laughs> Xuan Yi Tao. Ho Ling Chan. He Man Chan. Torbert Chan. Yang Chen, winner of the Dean's Prize for Biomedical Research, Athena Chung. <laughs> Lucia Ciloni. Adela Constinescu Bercu. Anya Diokits. Winner of the Dean's Prize for Cancer Biology, Matthew Ellis. <laughs> Yeva Erenghiti. Georgios Galaris. Abdallah Gazwani. Mary Goodwin, Andrea Goya Grozin, Sanika Hakim, Alexander Hall, Nicola Harris, winner of the Dean's Prize for Cancer Informatics Stream, Yu Liang He. Winner of the Dean's Prize for Bacterial Pathogenesis and Infection Stream, Sophie Howard. <laughs> Yu E. Yang Huang. Cindy Aiki. Rani Isaac through Ruthie Yil. Miroslav Philip Janatka. Victoria Kalna. Winner of the Dean's Prize for Biomedical Research, Public Health, Leone Olivia Kohlhammer. <laughs> Aaron Bjorn Kolbeinson. Mary Beatrice Lang. Chun Hang Lau. Sahid Oluwazeun Lawal. Rebecca Leschinski. Donald McHugh. Devmini Chaturangika Munamali. Natasha Myhill. Arvind Kumar Vadivelu. Anita Nair, Valeria Nikolenko, Georgios Entelio Poulos, P. 
Pia Ogger, Samata Pandey, Priyanka Picheshwar, Pantilitsa Protopapa, Hajra Sarkar, Yusuf Sarieldin Mahmoud Hamwe, Ines Serrano Pereira, Mohammed Usman Sharif, Neil David Slaven, Catherine Sloan, Nicholas Sid, winner of the Dean's Prize for Anesthetics, Pain Medicine, and Intensive Care Stream, Ying Tan. Kai Boontan, Sophie Tianiti, Kaining To, Kezia Keller To, Michaela Tonuti, winner of the Dean's Prize for Microbiome and Health and Disease Stream, Jinta Vikut. Winner of the Hamlin Prize, Rajan Varghese. Sejal Varsani. Matthew Veal. Chao Wang. Winner of the Dean's Prize for Medical Robotics and Image Guided Intervention, Lahiru Vijaya Singha. Derek Wong, Catherine Louise Wrench, winner of the NHLI Prize for Respiratory and Cardiovascular Science, Chuk Ting Yu, <laughs> Ming Tao. That concludes the Masters of Science graduates from the Department of Surgery and Cancer. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Faculty of Medicine, Master of Education, Department of Surgery and Cancer. Simon Alexander Hurst. Winner of the Dean's Prize for Surgical Education, Gregory Shepherd. <laughs> Natasha. <laughs> Natasha Singh. Hilda Dyler. There are two missing, yeah. yeah. That concludes the Masters of Education graduates from the Department of Surgery and Cancer. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Faculty of Medicine, Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Medicine, Institute of Clinical Sciences, Corinne Bischoff. Athe Athena Eugenia Georgilis. Chen Chi Huang. Andrew Innes. Rajaswari Iyer. Daimona Kunde, Joanne Caroline Leonard, Lucy Penfold, 
Eleanor Clotilde Sandhu, Polius Viscaitis, Elizabeth Georgina Lacey Ing Sims, Constantinus Vanazis, Anne Mirabella. That concludes the Doctor of Medicine graduates from the Institute of Clinical Sciences. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Faculty of Medicine, Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Medicine, National Heart and Lung Institute. Sarah Abu Al Saud. Ola de Pupu Adiyemi. Sama Aleyubi. Yi Mang Chin. Anna Cocking. Jai Deep Dariwal. Aida Di Gregorio. Martin Allen Glasser. Alex Kamer Gouvenel. Harpal Kalsi. Fahima Kaisar. Hung Yen Kei. Chirul Chuk Ki Lai. Tina Zubaida Khan. Chirul Chokki Lai. Stefan Lerzer. Francesco Mazzarotto. Adam Mills. Nura Mohammed. Sukinder Nature, Michael Paul Smith, Stefan Piatek, Virginia Pinto, Thanushian Pu Balasingham, Yogini Rasti. Anne Catherine Roishi, Ryan Robinson, Juan Miguel Sanchez Nieto, Sophie Schobesberger, Anand Shah. Alessandra Spidel, Matthew Tranter, Amy Day, that concludes the Doctor of Medicine graduates from the National Heart and Lung Institute. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Faculty of Medicine, Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Medicine, Department of Medicine. Galia Abdin. Hina Ahmad. Mary Alikian. Suzanne Ulsters. Thomas Barber, Cheryl Wing Shan Battersby, Alexandra Bazeos, 
Sarah Louise Bissett, Lauren Capron, Hannah Mary Cheeseman, Ling Ling Chua, David Chitano Duarte Philippe Tomas, Hazim Ghani, Simran Gill, Harriet Glidden, Guayi Ho, Sarah Jassim, Natalie Johnston, Salwa Kamurie, Ekaterina Kinnear, Julia Langer, Pui Pick Law, Karina Mary Simond Lee, King, King Lun Liu, Karen Mary Logan, Georgius Malietsis, Erin Victoria McAllister, Chris McNicholas, Kirsty Mayring Ludwari, Stephanie Meniku, Ryan Mitchell, Caroline Molyneux Sanders, Daniel Munblit, Shakunthala Narayanaswamy, Kimberly Painter, Borja Mora, Mora Paris, Justina Pritzau, Julian Anthony Rycroft, Rahil Z. Sanatinia, Marta Sawiki, Sophie Sayers, Hema Sharma, Tang Yi Shim, Andrew Siriani, <laughs> Antonia Solomu, Pai Yun Tio, Efrosini Chaffa, Thisana Yagam Uma Sunthar. Kei Yan Wen, Chi Li Wong, that concludes the Doctor of Medicine graduates from the Department of Medicine. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Faculty of Medicine, Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Medicine, School of Public Health. Sarah Jane Anderson. Danielle Ashworth. Yu Tong Kai. Mate Tsar. Kelsey Case, Celine Christiansen Jucht, Ahmed Alma Shafri, Thomas Cowling, 
Angela Alu von Malayo Gibson White. Thomas Hone. Natsuko Imai. Sentharan Jayap Palam. Mai Sadaka Kadi. Jack Olney. Edward Parker. Vasanam Pali Bhargavi Rao. Nazaruddin Safian. Charlini Sarn Thirku Marun. Isabel Diane Tavitian Exley. Maurice. Marisa Christian Taylor Clark. That concludes the Doctor of Medicine graduates from the School of Public Health. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Faculty of Medicine, Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Medicine, Department of Surgery and Cancer. Carolos Adesini, Ad Adesina Giordiadis. David Antcliffe. Jane Anthony. Mohammed Asa Duzaman. Nigel Bagnall. Adam Beach. Laura Bella. Oakham Charis. Tu Pin Chang. Joanna Rachel Cook. Andrew Curry. Rita Liliana de Campos Pires Santos Isusa. Ebony. S. Cleona, Hectoras Georgios, Alejandro Granadas Martinez, Isabel Grant, Hafiz Rashidi Harun, Archie Hughes Hallett, Christopher Hunter, Francis Jackson, Rajvinder Karda, Torben Kimhofer, Holly Kramer, Dia Malotra, Karen Menezes, Roberta Migali, Laura Muirhead, Hatam Nasi, Simon Newman, Samuel Panic, Gemma Petz. Magali Sarafin, Sinead Savage, Natalie Schenker, Mohan Singh, <laughs> Nicole Strittmatter, Kate Tatum, Vidya Varghese, Nikhil Vergus, Sarah Jane Walton, Camilla West, Arno Wolfer, 
Samantha Woods, Angela Yulia, Sushan Zhang. Simon Hurst, Natasha Singh, that concludes the Doctor of Medicine graduates from the Department of Surgery and Cancer and all graduates from the Faculty of Medicine. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. President Gast, Provost, Chair of Council, Faculty, distinguished honorees, and most especially our postgraduate students, their supporters, and family members. I'd like to start by congratulating all of you, the postgraduates. It's a fantastic achievement to be awarded a master's or PhD from Imperial College. I'm sure that all those that are here today to support you recognize the hard work and dedication that has resulted in your success. We are all incredibly proud of you. From my experience, I also recognize that for many of you, the journey will not have been straightforward. You will have had to overcome challenges to reach your end goal. This reflects the reality of life. Things rarely come easily. You will often need to dig deep and overcome adversities to achieve your ambitions. Last week, when I started to think about what I was going to say to you today, I was obviously sat in front of my computer, and being a scientist, I obviously decided to do a bit of research. So I typed in inspirational talks for graduate students. And um, as with anything you type in, you get a zillion results. Um, the penny dropped, though, because I realized that giving this type of congratulatory um, talk is something that's more of an American tradition, so I'm sure that our president has something to do with including it on the program today. So what was slightly more concerned to me, looking at who had given these speeches in the past. So top of the list, 22 million views, was Steve Jobs with that very famous speech he gave at Stanford University. Then scanning down the list, and I'm starting to get a bit more concerned now, there's Denzel Washington, Tom Hanks, Michelle Obama, <laughs> Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, whole host of American comedians that I've never heard of, and last but not least, Barack Obama. So at this point, I'm thinking, those American students were seriously shortchanged. You guys have got me. <laughs> What's more, all of them spoke for over 30 minutes, and I'm going to do it in six. So I listened to a few of the excerpts from some of these speeches, and the thing that really struck me was while obviously all these famous people had their own very distinct styles, um, there were a lot of similarities in what they said. And by far the strongest message that came through was the importance of really having a passion for what you do. And this is something I wholeheartedly endorse, because that passion will mean that you get up every morning happy to go to work. It will mean that you always strive to do your best. It will get through you through the difficult times and is what's most likely to ensure your success. Another common theme was around failure. And um, you have to expect to fail sometimes. Indeed, some of your best learning will happen um, because of the failure. From a scientist's perspective, every failed experiment brings you one step closer to success. So, clearly not a celebrity. I don't have the gravitas of some of those aforementioned speakers. However, from my perspective, standing here as a scientist, I'd like to give you my own advice and share with you just three things to consider um, when embarking on your careers or if you're returning to a career. 
So these are, embrace working collaboratively, have the courage to take risks, and tap into your creativity. So just a couple of examples from my personal experience. So I'm a stem cell biologist working in the Faculty of Medicine. One of my um, most challenging scientific projects um, was my involvement in establishing the Centre for Blast Injury Studies here at Imperial, funded by the Royal British Legion. This project was challenging because it required me to work in a team with a, a very sort of multidisciplinary group of people. So we had engineers, shock physicists, biophys biophysicists, bioengineers, and military clinicians. Together we had to design and build bespoke equipment. We had many experimental failures and technical challenges along the way. However, six years on, I can say the project is a success in that we have done some really innovative work. We have, um, this has given us a deeper understanding of the mechanisms underlying some of these horrific blast injuries, and that we hope that this will lead to new treatment and mitigation strategies. Okay, so now turning to a very completely different project. I've always been passionate about sharing science that I do with the general public whether this be to inspire young people to think about a career in science or to promote debate about the societal impact of the science we do. In this particular project, I work with the artist Gina Chinetsky, and I guess the risk for me at the time was that getting involved with an art project would affect my credibility as a scientist. So Gina and I created a sculpture that is a tooth palace. The walls of this palace are embedded with baby teeth, and these teeth have been donated by children from across the UK. The palace is symbolic of altruistic donation of body parts, whether that be kidneys for kidney transplants or umbilical cords for stem cell therapies such as bone marrow transplants. The palace was exhibited in museums and art galleries across the UK, and it attracted attention in the press and online. As such, it reached a diverse audience of young and old people from all walks of life, had them discussing donation of body parts for transplants, and gave them an increased understanding of why umbilical cord donations are necessary to build a national stem cell bank. Both the Science Blast Injury Project and Public Engagement Tooth Palace Project were unconventional. They required me to work collaboratively. They made me think outside the box and engage my creative side. Both projects were high risk in that I had no idea whether they would work or indeed be a success. I got involved with them because I was prepared to take a risk, I was prepared to fail, and because I was passionate about what each project was trying to achieve. So, in summary, my advice to you is to be passionate about what you go on to do. Embrace failure, making sure you learn something from it. See all challenges as opportunities and seek to apply your scientific knowledge in innovative and creative ways that will benefit society. I have faith in you. I have faith that you will go on to do great things that we can all be proud of. Today is your day to celebrate, and so I would like to end by congratulating you once again. Thank you. Presentation of Outstanding Student Achievement Awards in the Faculties of Natural Sciences and Medicine. Dr. Harriet Glidden. Harriet upholds principles of confidentiality, professionalism and compassion 
in her commitment to volunteering as a point-of-care HIV tester. Over eight years, she has provided invaluable support and advice to many who rely on the free services of Positive East. Alongside this work, she is an incredibly successful PhD student, winning awards and funding for her work, whilst showing outstanding capacity and skills in disseminating information on her studies in infectious diseases and nanotechnology. Ms. Franca Hoffman. Franca is one of very few Imperial students to have ever been awarded two Outstanding Student Achievement Awards during her academic career. Her charitable contributions and extramural activities are combined with excellent work as a mathematics researcher. She brings great credit to the research and education community at the college. Dr. Natalie McDermott. Natalie's contribution to humanitarian emergency responses to the Ebola virus epidemic and, more recently, the refugee crisis have been outstanding. She is a passionate PhD student and destined to be a future international leader in the development of medical responses to humanitarian crises and disasters. President's Medal in Research Support Excellence. Since joining the Department of Physics in 1990, Paul Brown has made remarkable contributions to both his department and the wider college. Whether advising on, designing, and producing the devices that are integral to international research, or playing a pivotal role in the launch of the college's technical apprenticeship scheme, Paul adds immeasurable value to the college with his hard work, dedication, and thought for others. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Mr. Paul Brown a President's Medal in recognition of his excellence in supporting research at Imperial College. President's Medal for Excellence in Societal Engagement. Professor Roger Kneebone and Dr. Fernando Bello lead the Imperial College Centre for Engagement and Simulation Science. This unique centre uses simulation technology and performance science to engage the public in healthcare issues and discoveries. Through rich collaborations, bringing people with diverse expertise and perspectives together, they have been able to push societal engage, engagement boundaries, whilst also generating important new insights into healthcare. The Centre's num numerous awards and collaboration are a real testament to their inspirational approach and their dedication to societal engagement. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Professor Roger Kneebone and Dr. Fernando Bello 
a President's Medal in recognition of the considerable contribution that they and the Centre have made to Imperial College London and societal engagement. Presentation of the Imperial College Medal. You've already met Sarah Rankin. Professor Sarah Rankin has a skill for demystifying science to the public. She's been enormously successful in leading the outreach programs of the National Heart and Lung Institute, including set setting up a very successful pop-up shop in the Hammersmith Mall that featured in the Lancet Respiratory Medicine Journal. This wonderfully innovative project takes science from the NHLI into the real world, and in doing so, contributes greatly to the public understanding of science, as well as training our students and fellows in outreach. Sarah has also spearheaded the Crest Academy that takes science into local schools. Sarah's research in leukocyte and stem cell biology garners funding support from leading scientific funders, and she numbered amongst the very first cohort of researchers to receive the Wellcome Trust's prestigious Senior Investigator Award. Sarah has taken this outstanding pa uh, passion and talent for science and has coupled this with an extraordinary breadth of innovation and skill in taking ideas to the public. In doing so, she has played an important role in the academic life of the NHLI and has made an enormous contribution to enhancing the public's opportunity for engagement with the college and to share in its scientific discoveries. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council to award Professor Sarah Rankin an Imperial College Medal in recognition of the considerable contributions she's made to the life and work of Imperial College London. <laughs> Presentation of the Regis Professorship of Infectious Disease. Professor David Holden is, is distinguished for outstanding contributions to the knowledge of molecular me mechanisms of pathogens such as salmonella and how they infect humans. Professor, Professor Holden's career at Imperial College began in 1995 and his work since has contributed greatly to an extraordinarily exciting interdisciplinary research endeavor here at the college which places Imperial center stage in the working of combating the threat from infectious diseases. His discoveries and breakthroughs have had a huge impact on the understanding of many biological processes in both microbes and humans, and has added the design of vaccines against bacterial pathogens. Through his work, David has made a major and innovative contribution to scientific understanding of the molecular basis of antibiotic resistance, an understanding that offers opportunities for creating new and effective weapons to support the global fight against this major health threat. There is currently no other Regis professorship in infectious diseases. This impressive accolade recognizes the critical and global importance of Professor Holden's work. Professor David Holden, Regis Professor of Infectious Diseases. Presentation of an honorary graduate, Professor Selezek Borisovich. It is with great pleasure that we welcome Professor Selezek back to Imperial College London, where he spent seven years of an outstanding academic career. During his time at the college, Selezek made an enormous contribution to Imperial's overall academic and scientific direction. He joined the college as principal of the School of Medicine in 2001 and ably steered the development of what was then a very young faculty having been formed just three years earlier. He created an illustrious, uh, uh, he, he created the Faculty of Medicine to a strong, cohesive, forward-looking clinical academic organization here at Imperial. From 2004, his work as Deputy Rector developed our interdisciplinary research, 
with fresh programs and saw the construction of Europe's biggest clinical imaging facility at the Burlington Danes building on our Hammersmith campus. So Lezek has always strong, been strongly committed to championing high quality delivery of the academic mission across research and education. His style of leadership was always marked out by its approachability, generosity and warmth. This combination of strength contributed to his huge popularity with the students who showed their gratitude for his support with their own award of appreciation. Beyond his impact on Imperial, his scientific contributions to cervical cancer research have made great strides in advancing our understanding of vac and vaccination against the human papillomavirus. Today, early teenage girls in the UK are now routinely vaccinated for HPV. So Le Selesic's contribution to medical education is research into developing vaccines were recognized with a much deserved knighthood in 2001. So Lezek had never been fearful of speaking, about, speaking out about the challenges as well as the joys of medical science and has contributed thoughtfully throughout his career to the public debate, including discourse on health records, stem cell research and cloning. Over the course of his outstanding career, he has continued to inspire many with his belief in translating research discoveries into treatments while keeping sight of the importance of fundamental research and as an outstanding academic clinician and public figure we are proud to be adding to his many illustrious honours and awards. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by Council to award Professor Selesic Borisovic an honorary degree of Doctor of Science in recognition of his outstanding contribution to medical research. President, members of court and council, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. When I was appointed chair of council, Imperial College, I became the first chair to also have been an alumnus of the college. So though it was some time ago, I know what it feels like to cross the other side of this stage as a graduating student, as many of those have today, you have today, with my proud family sitting in the audience, as have many of yours today. Now, I'm not a huge fan of league tables, but by whatever measure you go, Imperial College is a very special place. The Times education uh, rankings put us at the third highest in Europe and the eighth highest in the world. Other measures vary, but in almost all of them, we feature in the top handful of places in the UK and across the world. Only 6% of the whole population of the world hold a degree at all, let alone a postgraduate qualification from a top university. So always remember how privileged you are. For you, the graduates, today is not the end of a journey, but the beginning of a new chapter. There are going to be many opportunities to come, and I wish every one of you every success in harnessing them. Now, it's my responsibility to bring these proceedings to a close, but before doing so, I'd like to give a number of thanks to those responsible for the success of today's ceremony. So, without trying to single out anybody individually, please join me in thanking all of those who've worked so hard to plan and organize the ceremony. Secondly, I'd like to ask you to join me in thanking Richard Dickens and the musicians who played for us throughout the ceremony. <laughs> Not forgetting uh, our solo violinist, Tudor Trito, of course, who played for us earlier. In <laughs> now, it's of course your day and your achievements but sitting behind me is an array of people who've helped and guided you, and they've been joined by a great many other professors and lecturers, technicians, support staff, all of those members of Imperial College who've helped you. So I'd ask you to thank all of your professors and teachers and the other staff of Imperial College. And then, of course, there are you, our graduates. 
It's your drive and enthusiasm that makes Imperial such an exciting and vibrant place. So we all want to thank you graduates and celebrate your achievement. And whilst this is the end of the ceremony, as the President has already mentioned, it's not farewell. You are all part of a network of Imperial alumni and we will be here for you and we'll be pleased to help you as you go on to have your various stellar careers. And I dare say it, at some point, we may well ask you to help us in the future as well. The serious point is that we're all very proud of what you've achieved and we'll be proud of what you go on to achieve. So please do stay in touch as members of the Imperial family. Now, there's been quite a lot of enthusiastic applause this afternoon. Um, but it's been a bit stayed. This place is worth more than that. Um, perhaps it's the formality of the occasion. So very finally, I'd like to invite you graduates to stand and thank your most important supporters, your partners, your mothers, your fathers, your brothers, sisters, children and friends who've been with you when you needed. So face them and applause please. Thank you.